<coughs> All righty. We rock and we roll, yeah. G'day, legends. TJ Sports here. Welcome back to another Emerald Live Stream reaction. As always, today we're going to be reacting to the first of our final two games of the round. And our first of two games of Super Sunday. It is the Canterbury Bankstown Bulldogs versus the Newcastle Knights there, folks. How are we all feeling this wonderful Sunday? Very early game coming up, man. I'm feeling it. I'm not an early person, despite what streams make me do. Hello to Kakamel in the chat that says, Up the Bronx, bra. Up the Bronx, bra for you. Up the Bronx, man. Up the Bronx. Congratulations on the victory yesterday, of course. Uh, good win over the Camper Raiders. Raiders just were not up for that one. Kaka Mellon also says my, his first time trial score will be Bradman Best. You reckon Bradman Best is going to go? Well, mate, come on. He's simply the best. Braddy Best does. I can't change my tip. I tips the Bulldogs. You tipped with the Bulldogs as the Storm fan. I went with the Newcastle Knights myself, like NRL NBA edits here. But I feel like a lot of people went with the doggies. So I think that some of us are just, you know, odd ones. And I feel like it might also just be Eels fan being wrong here. I tipped the Pitbull Snoop, Snoop Doggies dogs. Mate, the Snoop Doggy Doggy Dogs you went with, really, man? <laughs> First try score or uh, Max King. Anytime try score at Josh Adokar. Max King and it first, bro. You know what? That would just be classic, wouldn't it? If our first scorer of today was somebody like a Max King, a bigger, a big prop, just going in, ripping it in, and, you know, finding a way through the gap in a very weak defensive line. Anyways, Legends, should get on with the team list here as it is due to kick off in about four minutes, so probably the best time around. And then I'll finish off the comments, obviously, while you guys can keep, obviously, putting new comments in there, the ones that are currently here. For the canterbury Bakestown Bulldogs, at fullback, we have Connor Tracy, with the wingers being Jacob Carraz and Josh Adokar. In the centres, it is Stephen Crichton, the captain, with Bronson Jerry. Matt Burton and Drew Hutchinson in the halves. The props are Chris Pozzolo and Max King. I read Marnie at nine. Billy Amikikau and Jamin Salmon in the second row. And Josh Curran at lock. The interchange is Samuel Hugh, Bailey Hayward, Curtis Morin and Blake Taff. The 18th man, Jake Turpin. As for the Newcastle Knights, the visiting side today, that again, is it really visiting? I've seen both these teams play at a call frequently, you know, but um, I guess it is it is somewhat more so dogs home game, isn't it, really? Let's be honest, Legends. Caelan Ponga lines up at fullback, the captain here, with Greg Marju and Thomas Jenkins on the wings. Anari Tuala and Bradman Best in the centres. At the halves, we have Tyson Gamble and Jackson Hastings. In the second, in the props, we have Leo Thompson and Daniel Saifidi. At nine, it's Jaden Braley, Dylan Lucas and Kai Pierce Paul in the second row, and at lock is Adam Elias. The boys are running out onto the field, legend, so we're almost ready to get on with our first half of footy, folks. The Newcastle Knights, man, will they be able to do it away? Only time will tell. Jacob Saifidi, Phoenix Cross on Jack Heverington, and Brody Jones of the Interchange. Matt Croker is your 18th man today, legends. Decent teams. If you wanted to know the referee, it is Peter Gow. Who let the dogs out, says SS Storm fan. Well, hopefully not Newcastle for their sake. I don't know all the players issues. I had to check the line, line up. Max King is a total stab in the dark. But he's a good prop, but that is a stab in the dark, man. That's a bold call. But you know what? If it happens, bro, good on you. I'm happy for you. But Bulldogs by four, Ado, Josh Adokar, any first try scorer, Liam says. Mate, I'm with you, Liam. I think Joshy Adokar is going to go over at some point, but I won't go with first try. Score on myself, man. I'll, uh, anyways, legends, Newcastle Knights and the Bulldogs. We're waiting on Canterbury here to run out onto the field. Here they come, guys. The doggies, full of pride. Stephen Crichton, man, the free peat winner. Matt Burton, a premiership winner. Billy Amikikau, a two peat winner. So many Panthers players in this in their team. It is ridiculous, legends. So, TJC, what a win for my mighty brothers. What a statement for the Rays with no rental car. I said, no rental, no big statement. Absolutely. You're a great team. I don't deny that, legend. Don't deny that. What a great team you are, mate. Indeed, Orini. And you know what? As I said before, good on the Broncos. They absolutely did destroy the Canberra Raiders. As a Storm fan, Dogs 1-12. First try scorer, Steve Critter. 
I'll you know what I'll say that the Knights score first with Bradman best, and then the doggies will score a couple. That's my that's my bold prediction. All right, I reckon best, and then doggies will get a couple. I don't know why every single time we get on with this one, the less and less I really know who whether my tip is right or not. All righty, legends, Newcastle Knights, Bulldogs, a core stadium. Here we go. We kick off today's Sunday footy. Bulldogs getting the first play here. Max King, the man of the hour, into the line. First here, legends. Here they go, 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 go. Rushing forward. Good speed on them. I swear I saw a comment here from somebody I missed. I'm sorry, DMX Woodstock, bro. Knights and Cowboys, TJC. You going with the Knights and the Cowboys? Well, then you are half with the tips I am, bro. Reed Marnie then, short to Josh Carr and Billy Ami Kikau here. Kikau, mate, what form he's been on. I do not care what our, you know, you think the dogs are results have been. Billy Ami Kikau, mate, he's where it's at, bro. He knows exactly what his job. He knows where to do it. He knows how to set up his teammates. He's a wonderful second rower. My prediction, Bulldogs 22, Knights 24. You reckon a two-point victory tonight? Well, it would be a correct hit for me, so I'll take it there, Woodstock, bro. I'll take it. Yep, we smashed Raiders. People were saying we couldn't couldn't wait to run us out. Oh, they couldn't wait to run us out, lol. Oh, no, 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 no. No problem with the Broncos. Just wish some of the fans were a little more humble. But at the end of the day, they deserve the success they've had, I guess. Yo, says on Hudson Viettes. I'm picking Knights and Sharks, he says. You're picking the Knights and the Sharks. Well, then you're with me, my bro, in terms of tipping. Newcastle Knights here clearing on the fifth tackle, 25 metres gain, and it ends up in the hands of Josh Adokar. A little bit of a lack of communication there, it seems, between Connor Tracy and him. They just seem to muck it up a little. But they still manage to survive. They're still good legends. No stress to it whatsoever here. They're fine. They're chilling. They're rocking and they're rolling. No clue where Viking X is, bruh. No clue where Mr. Viking, Viking X is. Wonder where he's gone. He's probably gone somewhere else. He's super quiet a lot of days, legend. He's super quiet a lot of days. He comes out of nowhere so when the Raiders are near play. Now Bulldogs, Reed Marnie. And he won't even have to play the ball, Reed Marnie. We got a penalty. And now Jackson Ace thinks that Carraz are having a bit of a go at each other here. Early days, boys. We're not even five minutes in. Get yourselves off each other. Jeez. Ace thinks, mate, push and shove. Was that a whack in the face for that? Jeez, man. Ace thinks not happy. Fuming actually between them. That's that's what you lot, bro. That's rugby league man. Oh, Hastings putting the arm out at Karaz and Karaz blew up from the looks of the replay here. Group hug time says Aussie Black Craig. Group hug time is what they're doing, man. You reckon that Pampers take four game four games to Pampers? Mate. Honestly, I do not care where Panthers play. They can play wherever the heck they want, Legend. They can play wherever the heck they want. They could play they could play all the way in America every game that they wanted to. They could play in India. They could play in China. I would not care. Alright, Reed Marnie here. Goes over to the left. Good pass there to Drew Hutchinson. Josh Curran then. Josh Curran. Going in hard, they want it, mate. Since I'm not so they want it, bro. They want it. There's already been a bit of a fierce um, rough and go between the two. Apologies, legends, if I sound a little bit dazed. You know, it is rather early compared to the other streams, and also we did just do free streams yesterday, so I feel like I'm kind of just a bit. Oh, we'll be good though. We'll be good. The the adrenaline high will kick in eventually. It'll kick in and be some of the best ever, right, folks? Ah, oh, Bulldog short over to Jacob Karaz. Jacob Karaz then. Karaz now with the rush of speed. Karaz now. Oh, Connor Tracy. And Connor Tracy caught back. Obviously, guys, Connor Tracy getting his chance at fullback here. He hasn't gotten that chance before, I don't think. We'll see how it goes. Oh, kick in the air. Crichton for the light. Oh, my goodness. The Newcastle Knights have managed to hold on. Kalen Ponga, the superhuman there, catching the ball. Why does Hastings hate the dogs? Well, why do Para hate the dogs, man, bro? I think it's just a culture thing, you know? I mean, I don't I don't particularly like how aggressive some dogs fans are, but you know, at the end of the day I don't feel like um 
you know, I don't feel like they'd appreciate all of us either, you know. I think it's just a bit of a different thing. Things. I think Hastings is the personality that doesn't go with dogs, honestly, Legend. That's all I think it is. I think he may just be a personality that doesn't go well against a culture like dogs. All right, they're reviewing it. It's nowhere near a try. It's nowhere near a try, man. <laughs> Nah, bro. KP first tries as DMX Woodstock. Mate, DMX Woodstock, really? You're going for Kalen Ponga to get the first try today, bro. Kalen Ponga, he's going to do it. He's going to do it. Oh, he could not do it there. Oh, no. He could not do it there, folks. He kicks it too short and it goes out of play. Brother me. Brother me. Are you joking? And now... The Canterbury Bakes out Bulldogs will go from the 10 metre. Billy Amick kick out of money. He didn't even touch the ball. How could that be a try? I have no clue on earth was he bloke Craig. Unless they went for a um, a penalty try, but there was no way on earth that was ever going to be a penalty try. Because Eels hate Critter, bro. Mate, we don't hate just Critter or NRL Ants and NBA. It's Bulldogs are our biggest rivals historically since the since the um, 80s, bro. Mate, it's got no, well before Crichton, bro. It's not, we don't hate, we don't hate doggies because of Critter, bro. We hate doggies because they're the doggies, babe. Nowhere near Critter being the reason. Critter's just a player we don't necessarily like. Doggies then, Bronson Jerry. But even then, I don't actually mind Critter too much. I just don't love him, you know. Ah, short over, Max King, Ozzy. Oh, my God. No, Samuel Hughes. Samuel Hughes, it's Samuel Hughes. Samuel Hughes is over legends. Samuel Hughes for the Canterbury Banks down Bulldogs. 4 0. Here they go. The doggies go rock, 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 barking their way down into the left hand side. And the dogs lead at a court stadium. 4 to nil, folks. Oh, why is this game on so early? I know, Punter. I know, Punter. I felt that too, man. When I was like watching, I was like, "Why, why two, why a two o'clock game?" But we keep rocking with it, man. I guess, yeah, they've just gone with two p.m. Sunday this year, and I, I'm not big on it, but it is what it is, bro. It is what it is, uh, Punter. Good day, says Dean Love Stuff. Good day, good day, Dean Love Stuff, man. Hi, Dean. Welcome, welcome, man. Oh, for a second, I thought it. Was Almost called it when I said Max King lol. <laughs> you should have said the other prop legend and you would have been set. You would have been set, Aussie bloke, Craig. All good, legend. That's fine. That's absolutely fine. Yep, smash the like button. Sub, he's going it. Woof, woof, says William Hart. Woof, woof. Who let the dogs out? Woof, woof, woof. Matt Burton barks through with a wonderful kick. And now it is 6 0 to the doggies. The doggies, bras. Comments now. Who scored? Um, it was a wonderful try from Samuel Hughes. SS, yes, right? Um, a wonderful try from Samuel Hughes, man. Um, honestly, the way he squeezed through there, beautiful to see. Um, perfect rugby league. What a pass to him. How are you? How are you, bra? We're good. We're good, man. Good to see the dogs emojis going up. Aussie Bloke Craig, very keen on this one. Okay, guys, we kick off again here. Samuel Hughes, the try score from before, the one with the ball, rushing forward here before taking the tackle. Reed Marty then over to Josh Adokar. Josh Adokar, the fox now, decides he wants to try and use his speed, but unfortunately, you know, down the middle, what's he really going to do? Max King then, power rush there into the line. I'm going to Sharks vs. Cowboys this afternoon, TJC. Go Cronulla. Best of luck to your Cronulla Sharks, Matthew. Um, that will be the next live stream on the channel. Very, uh, we're, mate, keep an eye out, bro. Keep an eye out. Feel free to pop in. But, of course, I know it's not great internet there, so feel free to um, just, yeah, let us know next week when we have streams again how you felt after that one. Should, should have a fun time, man. Firstly, Shark Park's not my favourite place I've ever been to. I think it's a pretty average at best, but... Um, you know, if you're a Sharky supporter, I'm sure that it could it has its merits, right? But if you're a neutral or an away supporter, it's not great for you. I liked the stream. Awesome, Dean. Love stuff. Much appreciated, buddy. Much appreciated that you liked the stream. 
Congrats on the win to Aussie. Absolutely, DMX Woodstock. Congratulations, two and a half, bro. Harley Benz says, go the Sharkies. Go the Sharkies, man. Go the Sharkies. Go Sharks. Psych. <laughs> Kaka Mellon isn't so kind to the Sharkies, is he? He's not so kind to the Sharkies. I don't know why it does that glitch where, like, sometimes it doesn't pop up with the score. And then it goes, and then it goes, puts the previous score up. And then, yeah, but, uh, I can't really complain. No, not going to uh, Magic Round Matthew Barnes, unfortunately. Just um, We're making a lot of trips this year, but unfortunately Magic Round will just be one of the ones we do not make, unfortunately. Um, so all of the Magic Round games will be streamed on the channel. Uh, one of these days, I'm sure, I, I'm, I'll try next year to make it to Magic Round. I keep saying that, but I reckon next year's the year because this year it, it's much more... It's much more about what the easier travel is, except for New Zealand. New Zealand's the crazy one. Canberra to Gold Coast, um, Newcastle, like we're, we're doing a little bit of traveling legends, you know, overall. Just unfortunately not Magic Round because Magic Round, you know, I don't really know when I'd have to book a hotel and motel and that wouldn't exactly be cheap on Magic Round a week. And then, of course... On top of that, then I got to get the tickets. I, I, which you know, I sold out. But like you know, I would have had to get the tickets and then all this stuff. It just did not work out this year. But we go on to it. Um, we keep rocking. We keep rolling. And um, next year, yeah, Magic Round will be there, bro, for us. Have you been to Suncorp yet? No, I have not been, man. Suncorp will have to wait till next year. I'll be going to Sea Bus this year, but I won't be going to Suncorp yet. Um, legend. Newcastle Knights on the fourth tackle. Get it short over here. Good rush of blood back to the 40. 10 minutes gone by in this game so far. Jaden Braley now with the pass and a high kick from Dylan Lucas will get it off over to Connor Tracy. Connor Tracy now putting it into gear. Man, he's, cl he's smashing that circle button to hit the mud and he does it, man. What a hit. I like Sharks. Shark Park is the best stadium for me. Good for you, Harley Waban. For me, I just don't like I don't think the toiletries are the best. I don't think that the um I feel like a lot of the crowd only know who Nico Hines and stuff are, but like at the end of the day, you know, to each their own, I'm sure it's got its merits because, you know, if you're a sharks fan, you know, there's a ton of sharks people around you, so you can chill out and proud. Kagaman looks, mate, the shocks the shark stadium looks more like construction site than a stadium says Kaka Mellon. <laughs> Read money to Drew Hutchinson. What a high kick in the air and it ends up with Karaz who passes back to Critter. Critter kicks. He kicks and Ponga will be held in for a goal line dropout. The effort was there from Sharks but the Knights unfortunately for Dolls have one of the best fullbacks in the game to read it and keep them out of play, mate. The two Queensland fullbacks going at it. Walsh had an incredible game yesterday. Ponga will want to have a good one today to give his point. Go on, drop out now, legends. Go Newcastle, says Dean Lovestock. Go Newcastle, bro. As the Storm Fences, I hope. Short kick off here, and it ends up in the Fox's hands, legends. I hope Cowboys beat Sharks. I don't want the Sharks to win them first. We'll see SS Storm fan, man. I, I've gone with the Sharkies. I've gone with the Sharkies myself, man. I'd like the Sharks to win between the two. Drew Hutchinson to Matt Burton. Tracy and oh! You have no right to hit a player like that. Brutal. Greg Marju. What a tackle. And what a defensive play. Connor Tracy absolutely taken out of that one, Legends. Absolutely taken out, bruh. Yeah, that might looks to go in the stream yesterday. It owes me $100. Owes you $100, guck. <laughs> Toughest game for Cowboys and my team, Sharks, will be too, too strong at home. Will be too strong at home, Harley? Hopefully you're right, Legends. Or Lane Park back then. Yeah, mate, I know it's got Lane Park. In fact, fun fact, my um my mother and stuff refused to call it anything other than Lane Park. They refused to call it Suncourt Stadium. So 
But my lifetime, you know, until I started doing this, it was Lane Park, and then I had to, I decided to call it Suncorp because that's what the stat commentators say and this, you know, all that stuff, legend. Congrats on the work, Parkhead. I don't owe you anything. Hey, it's Barkanax Wood Expra. You're done supporting Raiders, though, bro. Jumping off, really, man? You're really jumping off your team, bro? Mate, Raiders don't have half the issues Para do in supporting them, bro. Don't have half the issues, man. In, in Raiders than Power Bro. Like, seriously, why? All right, six again here for the Newcastle Knights now. Over to the right we go. Adam Elliott to Jackson Hastings. Oh, come on. Dylan Lucas, mate. If he collects that, he could run, bro. He could run so far, legends. Yep, there are many clubs that refuse to call it Suncom and want to call it Lane Park. Exactly, man. Exactly, we want to call it Lane Park. <laughs> it ain't Suncorp to them. Own you all the time, so. So you still got the own, bro. You still got the own. Mate, Silica, Solo Sikoa with the tackle, with a great tackle. Oh, bro, what a tackle it was indeed, mate. Wicked tackle into him, but still, he should have collected that battle. <laughs> Now the Bulldogs get defeated in the scrum here. Reed Marnie back over to the right with Stephen Critter Crichton. The Critter himself. He's Mr. Critter to get attacked. Now helmet held. Helmet passes over to Patolo. Jermaine Salmon now. Jamin Salmon. He wants to show why he won a free peat. Samuel Hughes then. Mate, Hughesy, why did I not score you in Supercoach, man? Juicy to the burger green milk drinkers. The burger green milk drinkers, bro. Take away. Toppy TV says, up the dogs, up the dogs. There you go, legend. If we win a game, I will win game three. If we win game, what? If we win game one, we will win game three. Oh, you mean Queensland? Absolutely, legend. Absolutely. I was just trying to figure out what you meant by that. Low kick from dogs. Chases, Jamin Salmon for the Bulldogs goes over. And the Newcastle Knights left in the dust. The referee's going to go up as no try. But absolutely massive stuff there. Get in a row. I hope so too, Kakamela, mate. Bandwagoner, I say. Exposing bandwagoner, brah. Bandwagoner. I don't approve of jumping from one to Pampers, bro. That's like me jumping from Eels after that Dolphins game to Pampers. Just nah. <laughs> Watch this, Legends. Watch this, Jamin Salmon. Oh. It's close. It was close, man. Oh, bro, it was close, bro. It was so close, but I don't think that... I don't think that's going to be a try, unfortunately, Legends. Uh, sorry, folks. I don't think that's going to work out. Ponga is a great half fullback. That he is, man. He's a great fullback. But no, yeah, that's not going to be a try, Legends. It's not going to be a try. The Doggies... We'll go it out, and Jackson Hastings will now start us off again, passing it short over here. And now we've got Maju taking the hits. Now back to the right we go with Saifiti. They lost, you said. I'm going for the Panthers. The Panthers, man. I once met a bandwagon, somebody who just who just got on the bandwagon. I don't know, bandwagon, and he went for the doggies. As soon as they lost, he said, I'm going for the Panthers. <laughs> You pick one player, they lose. You go, you jump into a better team, man. You jump into. Yes, buddy. Yes, buddy. Valame is in and Talungi is out for the cow, says William Hunt. Really, bro? Yes, man. Yes, man. Okay, there's your big news, legends. Sammy Valame is in and Talungi has been pulled out. Is it an injury, bro, or is it just dropping? 2023 grand final winners Panthers. Well, it's not your, it's not you. You're not part of the fan base that truly loyally supported them. Hastings, back over to Leo Thompson. Leo Thompson almost through there, and Leo Thompson held down. Jaden Braley then back over 37 meters gained. 
low kick from Ponga. And Bradman Best will look to get it. Connor Tracy now. And Connor Tracy manages just about to flick the Knights attack off and get himself into the field and out of the end goal area. Stephen Crichton now. Drew Hutchinson then over to Jacob Carraz. Jacob Carraz then. Carraz now squeezing through. Almost Carraz stopped there. Carraz over. Beautiful play by Tracy. Absolutely beautiful play by Corner Tracy, man. The Tracy. The Tracer, we can call him. The Tracers, bro. Bulldogs then. They managed to get the fifth tackle on the 30 metre. Knights with wonderful defence so far on the Canterbury Bankstown Bulldogs. And the ball goes out of play here, folks. The ball will go out of play. And the and the Knights will go. Oh my god, wait, hang on a second. What a kick there. Could it be a 40-20? It is a 40-20. It is a 40-20. I'm going mad. That's a 40-20. 40-20. Here come the dogs. Reed Marty now. Over they go to the left. Josh Curran. Curran then now with the squeeze of zoo. I used to like the Panthers a bit, but as soon as they beat my Bronx, they went from second fave to my, to please make a private spot for these cats. <laughs> Gaga Mellon says. Hey, Gaga Mellon, bro, not happy with the Panthers. Oh, st here we go. Short, Stephen Crichton. Crichton out down there. To the left we go, Marnie. Drew Hutchinson. Josh Curran. Curran now with the squeeze through here. Curran held back now. Reed Barty to Drew Hutchinson to Kikau. Kikau now. And oh, the Knights managed to end up with it. Thomas Jenkins. It's a complete mess. But in the end, the Knights won't care as they get the ball back, guys. The Doggies putting all of their efforts on the line. Unfortunately, Viliami Kikau just losing that ball. The first 10 minutes strong in the second half, forget. If the Bulldogs start the first 10 minutes strong in the second half, forget my prediction. Forget your prediction, legend. Absolutely done. Done. Forgotten, bro. Never to be heard from again, DMX, bro. Never to be remembered. Right, here we go. Jaden Braley over to the left. We got Leo Thompson. Leo Thompson then. Getting tackled by Samuel Hughes and Reed Marnie. Sure, Adam Elliott's back. Here we go. Anari Tuala now. Tuala, Tuala, Anari Tuala now. Anari Tuala taken down. Kaylon Ponga. Kaylon Ponga, ladies and gentlemen. Kaylon Ponga. Watch this again. Knock. On, baby. Caleb Ponga is knocked it on. It's going to be Doggies from right there. The soggy Doggies have got the Poggies in their favour. The touchy, the Doggies got the touchies. Hurt ham, mmm, mm. Talangi is injured hamstring, bro. Handstring, all right, then maybe he'll be gone if it's very minor just for the game. If it's um, a little more major, maybe a couple of weeks of um, Sammy Ballame. Drew Hutchinson, surely kick out Josh Adokar. The box, he couldn't get there. Hutchinson, then Drew Hutchinson's gonna take on the line now, and Drew Hutchinson's gonna be tackled back to the four. Matt Burden, Samuel Hughes. And then Jamin Salmon is just going to have to take it. Will we find? Because we still have so many, so many options. Legends. I don't. I'm not really going to stress too badly about any of our injuries. Like we've got plenty of players that could come in. You know, like we didn't even have some great players. We didn't even have some of our great players that could come in this year, last year. Like you know. Um, I think Jermaine's due a bit in Queens in the Queensland in Queensland for New South you know versus New South Wales in the state of origin, bro. I think Jermaine's worth a shot eventually, bro. He's incredible man, despite how power is going. What a lock. 
Fuck it, goes short there to the right, and unfortunately, the Dogs managed to get it despite the Knights' best efforts. Newcastle Knights then, here they go. Knights held back, holding them back, they go. Reed Marnie, Josh Curran, Curran, Sturran, let's aim to get to 3.77k by the end of today, Legends. Only a couple subs away. Matt Burton, to Connor Tracy, and Jacob Carraz will score on the right. Wonderful stuff. The Knights could not read them. And the Doggies will go 10 nil up. The Canterbury Bankstown Bulldogs, instead of being the bullfrauds, put the dog in dogs. The Canterbury Bankstown Bulldogs make it 10 nil, folks. Try. We kept it in play. Yes. Yes, dogs. Woof, woof, woof. The, ch the crowd goes wild with that one. Take a power, though. Drew Hutchison doing his job as a halfback there, getting it to Berta Critter. And, of course, Tracy then doing the fullback role. And Karaz is in. He's in, obviously. Yeah, try. 100%. Had to be. Wonderful stuff. They're trash anyways. As <laughs> that else it's trash anyways, bro. Trash anyways. Try. In his career, he has 14 and 4 against the Knights. So, a lot of his tries in his career have been against the Newcastle Knights. The Knights, he, they don't like him now. The Knights don't like him. Whoop, yeah, baby. Toppy TV says, yeah, baby. Being back in the t stream soon, TJC phone needs charging. All good, man. All good, your phone needs charging. That's fine, bro. It's fine, we're cool. No issue. Matt Burton now. He looks up to the heavens and knows he's got to get this one. Kicks it. And he scores it. 12 nil. The Newcastle Knights are going to start singing their prayers with this one. The doggies just simply too much for them right now to be able to handle at a 12 nil affair. Legends. 12 nil there to the Canterbury Bankstown Bulldogs. Jacob Kiraz, your try scorer at Core Stadium. Obviously, what a player Jacob Kiraz is, is what he wants to be. They've played him a bit all over the place. They've played him at fullback, they've played him centre, and today they're playing him winger. I think it's a bit of a mixed, mixed kind of thought process right now on where they want to play him long term. Um, whether that's winger or centre are the main debates. I don't think he'll get fullback, but. Winger or centre, those are the real questions. And score the man he scores on the wing, I feel like wing might be his spot. But, you know, at the end of the day, centre, I feel like said he could do job. Does anybody remember when Jacob Carras was just elite? I remember last year Jacob Carras had a period, it was the year before, where he just had a period where he was absolutely unbelievable, folks. Critter is getting used to the dogs. He's getting used to the dogs as an ESS store fan. Critter's getting used to being a doggy, bro. Instead of a pamper. First try score already happened, man. Yeah. I think he means for the next game, Legend, because he means Samuel Stone Street, who's making a debut for the Cronulla Sharks uh, next game. So Stone Street, and then he's also saying Mulatalo will score, Teague Wilson, and Nico Hines. Well, then you're predicting a lot of tries there, Harley Wabad. <laughs> to be fair, it is the. Um, it is the Cowboys, and we know that they love to concede a couple points this season. So I wouldn't be shocked if it was a high-scoring affair the next game, Legends. I don't think it'll be as good as T Titans Manly. That was insane last night. That was absolutely unbelievable between those two. Uh, Jaden Braley and Daniel Saifidi will manage to squeeze through here. Cowboys won the 12 first try. So, oh, yeah, my bad. Sorry, lol. Yeah, that's the next game. <laughs> exactly, man. Go para, bro. Uh, Cowboys won the 12 first try score is Semi Valame. First try score is going to be the Mr. Semi Valame, bro. He's going to play. Semi's going to play like he's playing in the semis, babe. Bulldogs back over. Jacob Karaz here. Zip Karaz with the pizzazz. Stops by Knights. Jacob Karaz. Read Marty then. We've got number 14. Is it Bailey Award or whatever? 
let me remember his name because I refuse to just go the whole stream not remembering these boys' names, guys. The fourth seed, Mr. Mr. Bailey Hayward. Yeah, I was right, Mr. Bailey Hayward. Oh, my God. Mr. Bailey Haywire, I should say, mate. Mate, Haywire that. Haywire, bruh. Drew Hutchinson, the halfback, with the mistake. He loses the ball, and now it's going to be the night. It's going to be the Newcastle Knights. Drew Hutchinson, not happy with that one, folks. But you know what? That was down to him. He went for a pass after being hit heavily, and he mucks it up. Storm 13 plus against Sharks is SS Storm fan. Uh, well, probably, man. I mean, the Storm love to score well against um, teams that are kind of middle of the crop, aren't they? And Hollywood Band says, boo, Cowboys. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love the, you know, the boos and the, Bring it on before the next one, the next route bar. Short over here. Bulldogs, hold off Knights here. Jaden Braley then to the right with Saifidi. Saifidi then passes backwards. Braley then to Elliot. Jelliot Elliot. Kai Pierce Pole. Pierce Pole passes back and then it gets to Dylan Lucas. D passes. To Wildland. Oh, the Fox. Wonderful stuff there. Josh Adekazi Fox putting them down here. Back over it goes. Jack Heverington. Heverington with the moves. Heverington squishing by. Caleb Pogger then. Big tackle. They're going to need something special here. And unfortunately, all they get is a bag of lollies being dropped on the ground. The Dogs now with the 20 meter tap. Here they come. Sharks, 13 plus against Storm. Oh, we got Elsa Storm fan versus Hollywood Band next time Sharks and Storm play. Mate, for now, you got to focus on your own things, mate. Storm, you beat the Roosters, and Sharks, you're going to try and beat the Cowboys, right? You're going to try and beat the Cowboys. Going to try, at the very least. <laughs> try. All righty, folks. Dogs. Held back over, Reed Marty then goes to Burton, and Matt Burton will knock the ball on. Are you kidding me, brother, from another mother? What on earth was that, Mr. Matty Burton? Matty Burton, the Muppet, bro, the Muppet Droppo. El Droppo, we should call him there. The knock-ons from the Dogs are ridiculous right now. Five errors to Dogs tonight to spree. I mean, the scoreline doesn't show it, but the game kind of does in terms of how much the Knights are coming out now. Jaden Braley now to Elliot. Jelly to Elliot. Gets to get over Heverington. Heverington, a ton of force in that tackle. Jaden Braley now. What a pass to him. Jaden Braley going. Jaden Braley caught though. Third tackle over to the left. Jackson Hastings dummies and Reed Marty will tackle him. He's like only room in this business for one short man wearing a helmet. Jaden Braley to Pogger. Back over. Could that have been forward legends? No, the referee says it's fine. Are you kidding me? I really thought that was forward. Braley back. Lucas with the low kick and Josh Adokar will catch it, but it will be a goal line dropout nonetheless here, whether he likes it or not, baby. Here we go. Here we are go. Let's -a go, legends. Let's -a go here. 36 votes so far on the poll. 64% of you reckon that the Bulldogs are going to get it done, boys. Our next five games, Rabbitohs, Titans, Sharks, ELC. Well, you know, I can tell you what's going to be. WWWLW, bro. That's gonna, what it's going to be in those games, legend. <laughs> Bradman best there. Manages to collect the short um, goal line dropout they went for. Then Greg Marju will run quick into the line here, mate. Looking for it. Jamin Sabin with good defence. To the right, Hastings goes. Hastings with a good short pass off where Saifiti will collect. Saifiti will manage to be taken down there. And then Jaden Braley, short over. Hastings, Kai Pierce, Paul. Kai Pierce, Paul, bro. Nah, bro. I can hope, man. I can hope, man. No, it's, Eels will probably Eels are likely to lose the Storm, man. But we've also been a bogey team for them, so I'm begging that that continues. You know, outside of last year, we were the team doing doubles on them, so I'm hopeful. 
But that's still a while away to think about, Legend. Plus, I believe that's the Magic. Is that our Magic Round game versus Storm? So, yeah, I won't even be at that one. I'll be streaming it. Right, back over. Phoenix Crossland. Phoenix Crossland taken down here. Then Braley over to Hastings. And then Caipius Paul will take the hit. Braley then over Hastings. Crossland. Crossland, oh man, Crossland caught by the leg just while crossing over. And then Braley, fourth tackle here. Heverington, I think he got a little lost there. Deer in the headlights. Bulldogs keeping him back. To the right, they go again. Hastings, 10 meter line. Kai Pierce Paul and Dylan Lucas will go over for the Newcastle Knights. Dylan Lucas, you superstar. Try. Right. T-R-Y. Dylan Lucas scores a try and makes the Bulldogs cry. Back on. The game is on its way right back to the top. Newy fans, if you want the comeback to be completed, you need to smash that like button and sub. If you want the comeback not to happen, Bulldogs fans, you've got to do it more than the, than the Newcastle Knights fans. Come on, legend. You need to get it going. No, shouts Toppy TV. No, bro. No, I feel for you, legend. No. Newcastle got a try says Ethan. That they did, mate. And it was a wonderful try. Dylan Lucas, baby, that got it, bro. Storm can beat all those. Yeah, mate. Yay. Yay. He says, yay. No, shout dogs. Yay, shout Newcastle Knights. And Dylan Lucas with just four career tries. In 13 games, he's not a low-scoring player, but you wouldn't say you expect him to score every game. Generally off the bench, his um, career's beat, but recently he's gotten those starts, legends. Now we're just waiting on the kick here. Caleb Pogger to make it six. And, of course, legends, ladies and gentlemen and everyone, we have a 6-0 score, a 6-12 to scoreline in favour of the doggies the knights though they're on their way back up they're climbing to the top here with seven and a half minutes to go with the first half below anything's possible the dogs defense was horrible when lucas scored mate when the when lucas scored i was shocked by the defense of the dogs it was terrible man absolutely terrible Absolutely terrible, bruh. Actually, one of the worst examples of defense I've seen in a while. <laughs> that was just horrendous. Now we carry on, though. Ch time to redeem yourself, doggies. Time for you to hold them out here. Redemption legends. The redemption starts now, folks. Carry back on. Greg Marju. Greg Marju. With the play of the ball, 40 votes now on the poll, 62% going for the Doggies. I was surprised it's rised in favour of the Dogs with the fact that the Newcastle Knights just literally scored a try for the comeback to begin. I'm shocked that it's actually risen to Doggies since then. The Dogs, bruh. All right, Newcastle Knights feeding this. We got, we're going to a scrub. The Dogs will be feeding it against Newcastle Knights here on their 20 metre line. This is the chance. It was a knock-on from Newcastle. Doggies need to extend their lead here, I think. If they want to have that momentum at halftime, they have to extend it here. It's like a must. It's a need. Reed Marty to Drew Hutchinson to Josh Curran. Josh Curran now barely doing any metres there before taking the tackle. Legends, not really much to say from him there. And then back over, Reed Marty goes to Drew Hutchinson. Matt Burton then to Villiami Kikau. And Kikau taken down there. Newcastle Knights get it on the red V bra. Get it on the red V wagon. Marty Short and Samuel. No, oh, here we go. Bronson Jerry. What a pass. Cool Uncle Samuel with that one. Wonderful stuff. Bronson Jerry goes over and scores finally again. Here we go. It's a try for the number three. Wonderful stuff for him. Robson Jerry. 
six eight six, and they have exactly what they needed heading into halftime now, especially if they can get the kick. A 10-point lead will soon become a 12-point lead again, potentially. Is that his first try back? It might be legend, honestly. It just might be. Yet yeah, it is. 14 in his career, and that is his first one for the Canterbury Bankstown Bulldogs on his return, man, after obviously it not working out at the end at Sharks Legends. Wonderful stuff from him, finally, with the, one, with the try for the days. He's got it, Legends. He's got it. So, and if you are a Doggies fan or not, you got to be happy for the bloke. He's fought hard to get back in his career there. He's fought back hard to, to get in his career there, Legends. And um, honestly, he's, he's made a comeback that not many of us could make. So good on him. Matt Burden here. The birdie bird, a little birdie told me that Matt Burton is going to get this kick, Legends. Let's see if the birdie's telling the truth. Did the bird tell me the truth? Matt Burton, he got it. The bird is a truth teller. The birdie is a truth teller, I repeat. The birdie told me, and now he's got it. Wonderful, 18 to 6. The birdie is so generous, man. The birdie's so kind to me, guys. Such a kind soul, the birdie legends. 18, 6, baby. A hundredth game's milestone. Also, my brain didn't have the new early, mate. And also, Scott Drinkwater reaches 100 too, bro. Hey, Scott Drinkwater also reaches 100. That's why Mr. Scotty Drinkwater's on the thumbnail of the next stream. I'm not happy for for him, and I'll let it in be at it's well then you can be you can be spe be a unique person then and uh, to be at it's bro i doubt i doubt mate that um you know i'm not saying you couldn't necessarily but i doubt that you could go through essentially being told you couldn't play the because you made a mistake and it was a stupid mistake but it was still a mistake you you did you did your time and you couldn't play the game you loved at all for almost half a decade to be able to come back and get yourself to the fitness to be at a professional rugby league standard which is beyond a level that any of you could about most people could imagine he certainly deserves raps for it so i don't really agree at all with not being at least a little happy for him that he's managed to do something what so many players give up on early days Hayne never came back from his controversies, did he? And we all go on about Jared Hayne. Game 99th last week, says SS Storm fan. Game 99th last week, game 100 this week, bro. Tough game for Cowboys in next week against Panthers, mate. Tough game indeed, Hollywood man, bro. Tough game indeed, Rooney. Tough game indeed, Rooney, bro. Jaden Braley. Then over to Kai Pierce Paul. Kai Pierce Paul going held back on the 40. Newcastle Knights looking for the counter. Come on, bro. Back over to Dylan Lucas. Newcastle Knights with, with a certain bit of um, elegance to them compared to at the start of the game here. They found a way to really remake themselves, refold themselves, reshift themselves into a better attacking fit at least the doggies certainly aren't having as easy of a time as they did initially this could have been a smashing if the knights didn't switch on like they have bro and Caipius Paul held back Braley then to hastings and then it gets over to heverington heverington then and heverington caught on the 20 and then it goes to jade and Braley and lucas kicked high in the air and josh adokar can beat thomas jenkins to the ball and be taken down. One minute and a half to go in the first half, Legends. Newcastle Knights now. Plenty of Knights there in the line going quick at them. No time for the dogs to really think about what they're going to do. Jacob Karras. Karras shows a bit of pizzazz there and the manages to take a hit. Crossland then, look, four, four tackles in reality, and they've only made 20 metres. And now it's fifth tackle, and they've made about um, 30 metres. I just, 
I don't know why. Why does it feel like every time it's not an try scoring set, they only make about thirty meters before it's yeah, it doesn't feel like they make the they make it to the opposition's ten and then miss out on it. Like it doesn't feel like they go that way ever really, legends. It's a little odd, honestly, if I'm gonna be straight up with you, Beth. A little odd. Little bit odd, little bit weird, a little bit strange that that's kind of how they how they rock with it, bro. Alrighty, righty roo. Back to Crossland. Phoenix Crossland then. Four he goes. Phoenix Crossland. Phoenix Crossland goes and rushes. The Pampers last home game back in round three where they were playing the Dogs at home in round 10 against the Dogs. Last home game. What? The Pampers last home game back in. You know what? I'll, I'll read it at half time. I'm a little confused. Fused, I guess, because I'm tired brain, boys. Tired brain. But anyways, we're going to be entering the halftime show here where you guys obviously get a chance to have more of a direct talk, obviously, uh, before you know we get on with the second half and then we've got another stream after this one. And 2-1, there you go. That is halftime here at Accor Stadium. The Bulldogs lead 18-6. to The Knights... Been trailing the entire game, but you can't say that they're completely out of it, Legends. And what's this? Yep, it's time for the halftime show, man. Uh, the Pampers' last home game back in round three, they playing the playing at home in round 10 against the Dogs. Oh, so they're playing at home round 10 against the Dogs. Good on them, Legend. Good on them. Good on them that they get to play round 10 against the Dogs. Hopefully they have a good... Hopefully the Pampers lose, but you know, at the end of the day, I think the Pampers will win that one well myself. But it is time, you're right, legend, for the TJC Sports Half Game Show with your host, TJC Sports. Time to smash that like button and sh and start asking some questions, folks. Burton is very bad. He sucks. Uh for me, you know, he's he's a, he's an incredible setter and he's a good five A for me. I just don't think that he's got a team around him. Very honestly, I don't think he's got a complete team around him. But if anything, you should be saying Drew Hutchinson sucks. Uh, at our to man, mate. Drew Hutchinson's the real one. Um, the real not so great half of the two, but you know, also in defense of Drew Hutchison, you know, um, Hutcher is also really great with the fans. So, you know, I guess he's got something they don't, they don't got, man. You reckon Chris Critter get booed by Pampers fans? You know what? Pampers fans have such a short memory span and lack of understanding of the game that I wouldn't be shocked if they did boo him, man. I wouldn't be shocked. In fact, I wouldn't be shocked if they booed Luai some of them, bro, when next year we get, when the Tigers come by to place the Pampers. It's the rational life about it. TJC Sports Halftime Show. One out of two for today. Exactly, Aussie Blake Craig. One out of two for today. You reckon? Yep, yep, yep. Subscribe. TJC Sports will appreciate it. Um, and that's a man that says sports on who's being, who's being in Parramatta Harps. Well, legend, you know, I actually thought RC and Dillabags was the best way to go once to like the stuff didn't work out. And then we went in the direction of having, uh, you know, then we went, and then obviously RC, we can't have this this upcoming week because of his concussion. So for me, it might, knowing Brad Arthur, go back to Lungy and Dylan Brown. But I don't know for certain legends, it could they could put Maddo there, but I don't think Maddo should be playing 5'8", Legends. <laughs> Remember, Ryan Madison started his career at 5'8", folks, but um, I don't think Maddo will do... I don't think they'd put Maddo there. Um, they could go with... I'm trying to think who they could... They could slip Guffo in there and then put Talangi at um, fullback if they wanted to. There's quite. There's a couple ways they could go, but um, unfortunately, none of them are ideal. That's the issue. None of them are ideal versus Manly at rookie. But then again, I, uh, you know, preferably when you play Manly at rookie, you want to have your best team too, don't you, Legends? So um, we've already gotten ourselves at a bit of a disadvantage in that way. That we're, 
that we're, you know, going... That we're going through what we're going through right now, legends. <laughs> go... Go the Knights. Go the Knights. Still the best, no matter what. All the way from Pagia Ali up PNG. Up, hey, shout out to everybody watching from all over, whether it's PNG or you know the rest of Australia, America, all the islands, all that stuff. Hope you all are having an absolutely incredible day, night, whatever, wherever you are. Also, if you're new, make sure you hit the like button and sub legends because. It's highly appreciated. It means that you get reminded that I exist so you can come back and watch other streams of your team. So isn't that the best thing in the world? How did Brent Bronson Zorro score his first try with the Bulldogs? Well, what happened is that he went over the line after a really good pass to him, bro. That's what happened, mate. That's what happened. Panthers are losing a big names players. This is the last year they win the premiership, says SS Storm Fam. Well, this is the last year for me that they um, – I, I actually don't think they'll win it this year, bro, necessarily. I think that this is their last chance to win it before I think they don't win for a year or two, a few years. But I don't even know if they'll win this year, bro. It's going to be a close one for sure. It's going to be a very close one. Broncos are a good shout. I reckon Broncos will probably bounce back and win it. But – um. You know, while I'd be really happy for fans like Aussie Bloke, I just know that I'm going to hear tons of Broncos fans talk about how shit power is to me in my in my DMs and stuff when Broncos win, which will suck, but still. If Panthers don't win a premiership, then Parramatta wins against the Can Canber Canberraiders. <laughs> Very funny, Leah Porter. Very funny, man. You can't seriously say that a four-peat is 100% on the way, man. That's just, like, lunacy to say. Lunacy to say. A three-peat, fine, I'll take that. But a four-peat, bruh, come on. Come on, man. That's just not fair. That's just not fair. It's just not fair that a fan base is allowed to win four in a row and teams like Para aren't allowed to win one for nearly four decades that's not fair we're doing our own four peak baby it's gonna be the four decade peaks they just won't be in it oh, they won't be man they lost at because of william we could count that person brett Naden now critter i wouldn't say brett Naden was the biggest loss but like yeah i get what you mean legend next year lua and fisher harris yeah they're re they really are le losing it aren't they Booker X Sun says, yo, who are the try scorers? Says he asks, um, mate, the try scorers were for Knights, it was Dylan Lucas, and for the Bulldogs, it was Bronson Jerry, Jacob Carraz, and Samuel Hughes, buddy. We had a Jamin Salmon try that was disallowed as well. So yeah, those are your try scorers for this one, bro. That's why that's why Manly signed Luke, Luke Brooks. What do you mean, bro? Luke Brooks, Nathan Brown, Tommy Tillow, and Jackson Bowler. What do you mean, why you signed them? Do you mean that's why you because they were off contract or because you didn't just sign them because Parra got a, Panthers got a free peep, bro? That's not the only reason you signed them. You signed them because they were good for your team. They were good for your team to get. Nathan Brown in particular, Luke Brooks, bro, the GOAT, man. Tommy Tillow, yeah. Jackson Bowler, just all good players for you. Watch it again here. Mate, that Dylan Luke has tried the doggies defense just completely switched off. Well, that's one of the worst, worst things I've seen in a bit. That was terrible from them. Absolutely awful. I still am trying to imagine the Pampers without Jerome Lewis and Fisher Harris because I feel like that's just going to be weird. I don't know why, but like, no Fisher. James Fisher Harris has gone straight in my team, I think, next year at Wilds. I don't know why. I just feel like he's going to come out firing for the New Zealand Warriors, bro. But I also think he'll come in a little underpriced because, you know, for some reason he's just uh, – he's 50. For me, he's not the he, – he, he's worth a little more than what he's put at. We're my super coach, man. But Liam Fortis – yeah. Lussick will get dropped. Oh, 
Lusick should get dropped. But you never know with Brad Arthur. You never know with Brad Arthur, as a man. And it's um, Hansy, who they're going to bring in. The only person they could bring in is Hansy. Um, I don't see Matt being ready for the situation Paris in right now. I think players like Matt Arthur, we've got to wait a little bit for them to um, to grow, you know? I don't want to just throw them headfirst into the line and hope and rely everything on them because at the end of the day, they're people and pressure gets to you, man. They'll fall apart, some of them. They'll fall apart. I'm not saying that he could, that, you know, necessarily wouldn't, um, that I'm not backing the youngsters to be able to come in. But what I'm saying is, is let's not just throw them in high pressure, to, you know, youngsters. Let's... Uh, let, let's throw them in when, we're, when we've got a team around that can look after them, Legends. I like Joey Lussick, man. I like I like Joey Lussick. For me, though, I guess he has been a little poor the last week. He was poor versus the Dolphins. Bring in Hansy. For me, I think the real issue is that we should have two hookers. We should have a 14 and a 9. I think you need a 14 and a 9, bro, for me. And for me, Lussick and Hands can do that, bro. Disagree, Lussick is a good play player. My G won four premierships in a row at St. Helens. Yeah, but that was St. Helens, man. I don't compare Super League and NRL, bro. They're completely different games in the way that they go. They don't even call each other by the same positions, even though they play the same positions. You know what I mean? Like, they say, like, scrub half and stuff instead of, like, five eights and half backs and things. And, like, they are also a lot more of an attacking game. There's a reason players like Wugga Blake or um, Kai Rodwell can come over to Super League and do a lot, do decent, but could not do it in the NRL because it's a different kind of game, man. It's a different kind of game, you know? All right? It's just different, man. It's not the same kind of talent set needed. To compare the two exactly, mate. And I'm not knocking any as better. I'm just saying that you can't put them in the same category because they're different, man. They're two different sets of abilities that you need to play with. You need to be a much better attacker in Super League than NRL. NRL, you just you need to know how to defend more, bro. I'm just not certain, okay? Sevo stayed about a month after he should have been dropped. Um you know, uh, Mr. Mr. Uh, what's he? Mr. 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 Wishy Washy. Wonga Blake stuck around for like 10, 12 rounds uh, last year when he should have been dropped well before Legend. Wonga Blake should have been dropped ages ago. Wait, mate. He, Wonga Blake, mate, right, when he got dropped... It was like way too late, bro. In my opinion, Wanga should have been should shouldn't have been playing been playing that season, you know. So for me, I just kind of feel like you can't. You, I I don't know if he'll get it, man. I just don't feel like they'll drop him necessarily. I don't think Lusick will necessarily be the player they drop, but I just don't know in general who he'll drop, uh, Brad. Plus, it could be one of them, but I just don't see it. Yeah, you're, yeah, you're both entitled to your opinions between each other, Legends. Wonga Blake is a good, is a good player. Well, it didn't work at Parramatta, man. He couldn't catch the ball for anything. He couldn't, um, mate. He. You can't possibly say, you can't possibly say that Wonga Blake was good at Para as a Storm fan. Please tell me that you're not going to dare to say that Wonga Blake was good at Parramatta, bro, because he was absolutely horrific. He was, mate, mate, 2019 was probably the best he ever was before the rest of the years where he just did nothing but knock the ball on, be poor in the defence, and catch off late on attacks created by the rest of the team the end of the day for me look maybe Wonga Blake's doing great in Super League because all you need to do is attack but he did not fit NRL well he did not fit NRL well a good player versus bad player bro 
He was an average NRL player and a good Super League player, I guess, then, bro. He was not that special at Para. And, this is, and he was just, no. Nah. You're crazy if you think that he overall was a good player at Parramatta. Aussie bloke Craig says, yeah, but I don't, you don't disagree because you think anyone will never start this. You're entitled to your opinions, I'm just saying. Well, I mean, I agree with you. Never mind. Sorry. No, that's all good, SS Storm fan, but I'm just saying, you get what I mean, kind of? He's a good he's a good Super League, but he the, he was all, he was not Parramatta at all. Okay. You know what I mean? Parramatta just was one of the... He he played his career worse with Parramatta. That's unfortunate, but it's true. You know, I don't know how he's doing in Super League, but maybe he's a good Super League, but NRL's different, you know, yeah. Could be yours. All righty, legends. Anyways, it's time to get on with the second half in a moment, folks. Time to update scoreline. Let's go, legends. The second half of Sunday footy game one is underway. Newcastle Knights, Bulldogs. We are back, legends. We are back. Here they go. Good rush there, held back now. And, oh, the Knights already went an error. Greg Marju is furious with that. He's telling them the challenge. He's telling Pogo, challenge it. Challenge it. And yet, they're going to challenge it, legends. Unbelievable. There you go. Captain's challenge here from the Knights so early on. Five seconds into the second half, legend. This might be a record. Five seconds. Into the second half, we have a captain's challenge. Five seconds. Five. Are you kidding me? From what I've seen, seen I doubt Ponga will be picked over Walsh Quinn's on game one. He won't be, man. He won't be picked over Walsh, bro. He won't He won't be picked over Walsh. But I could see him getting a 14 or 18. Man, guys. Well, not 18, man. I could see him getting a 14 roll, bro. If NRL did draft, or should be the number one draft pick right now, bro. Right now. Happy Ming with the question mark. What, you wondering about the game, bro? The game was 18 to 16. The game's 18 to 16 right now, second half, bro. It's early days, though. I don't know why the game's so early, man. If the NRL drafts picks, uh, what's this? If my Queensland 2024 backline, one Welsh, two Tulungi, three Holmes, four Hammer, five Coates, six Monster, and seven DCE, bro. Nice stuff, SS Storm fan. I like it myself. Now, Crossland to Dylan Lucas. Dylan Lucas now. Lucas with the good run there. Lucas held back. Woodwork. That's what why I laughed when Billy said he reckons he would put both Wonga and Walsh in the same team. Wouldn't work. I don't think it would work either, but you would wish that you could find a way for both of them. I mean, Pogo, you could put five eight or you could put him fourteen, but unfortunately it would be just forcing him to be there. Hammer may not play injury play due to his injury, but like there's no way to really know yet, man. There's no way to know yet. Like, he might just miss game one or something. He might manage to find his way back in for a future game. It happens all the time, bro. The game two team will not be exactly the same as the game one team for one of... I don't think both sides will have the same team game two and game one, you know? I think there'll be a change-up, definitely. Reed Marnie to Jacob Karaz. Karaz now. Come on, Jakey Karaz looking... To tippy toe through, looking to do the squeezy tippy toe 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 go 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 go. Would would it have a might not? Let's go. I'm playing Roblox. Good for you, Dean. Love stuff, mate. Hope you're having a fun time with it, legend. Little legend is quite is Ezra remember Queensland or, or original, bro? Is he a Queensland original? Um, Ezra. I, I'm actually not so sure, certain with Ezra, ma'am. I've never done my research, I think. I went, Mammy. Um, nope, he's a New South Wales born. Ezra, ma'am, is New South Wales born. He'd be eligible for the Blues, but not the Morons of the Queenslanders' legends. 
New South Wales, damn it. After the hat trick he got last year's grandma, he would be great pick. I know, man. Just looked up board and city that means New South Wales team. Yes, it does, Elsie Mike Craig. It does mean he's in the blues team, legend. It does mean he'd be in the blues team. Just like uh, Payne Haas is blues, and like how Katoni Staggs would be blues if he wanted to be, legend. So quite a few. There's actually a couple Broncos that aren't that Queenslander uh, that you talk about, legend. Katoni Staggs. Um, Ezra Mann and Payne Haas, three big players for you, are all New South Wales. All right, but Canterbury Banks out Bulldogs legends. Bronson Terry back to Bat Burton. Over to Billy Ame Kikau. I think I'm starting to feel that second year, guys. Billy Ame Kikau now. Kikau now. Dylan Lucas holds him back. Full tackle. Reed Money then over to the right. Now it's Josh Curran. Josh Curran then. Josh Curran looking for the way. Where can you go, Josh Curran? Where are you passing? And you go over down the middle. Josh Curran held back them. Josh Curran. Boom. Darren and Tyler at KP fans. Go the Knights from Alia Babu Bobas. Alia Bobas. Shout out to that. David. We are. Derek, Tyler, the KP fans, they're KP fans. They're big KP fans. Go, legend. Back Dylan Lucas goes over to Anari Tuala. Anari Tuala, come on, mate. Oh, wow, what a hit on Tuala, brah. Your yeah, origin is, is funny. Born in New South Wales means blues, but if you... We're born in Queensland, but start your NRL career in New South Wales. You can play it for New South Wales, right? But once you do, you cannot change is that, right? Um, yeah, what it is, is that you can, um, you can, you can be eligible for both in a way, because if you were born in New South Wales, right, but let's say within a month, you move to Queensland, or like you move before you're 13 to, I believe it is, I think that's the age, to, um, Queensland from New South Wales, then you can represent Queensland and not New South Wales. However, technically you were born there, but you can be a Queensland citizen, which means you could be considered a Marana Queenslander over a Blues. You know what I mean, man? And it's the same vice versa kind of legend. Um, so it really depends how long they were in Queensland versus where they were born. Like technically Greg Inglis should be a New South Wales Blues player, but He's a Queenslander, obviously, because that's what he decided to do, mate. That's decide. That's what who he decided to represent because he could, based on technicality and eligibility. Matty Burton on his way through now, and plus, does it make sense to have Ponga in the team and then Walsh Killian at the moment for Broncos? Yeah, it doesn't make sense having him in the team. But what I'm trying to say is, I wouldn't be shocked if Billy tried to fit him in at 14 or 17 or whatever, even though he'd be a little bit of a forced pick. My dog's proving you wrong, that they are legend, that they are, but I never thought the dogs didn't have a chance. I flipped a coin and went with the Newcastle Knights, man. The coin has lied to me. The coin has lied to me, legend. Let's go, folks. All right. Greg Marju now held back. Then back over to the left they go with Bradman Best. Bradman Best then with his arms out. Bradman Best force him back. Okay, now we got Jaden Braley short overs. No knock on there. It was a pass backwards in my opinion. And yeah, Daniel Saifidi now collects. Saifidi now taken down. Back to the left. We got Hastings. Hastings dummies here. Hastings then held back. Um, legends. Jen, we've got Jaden Braley going back over to Dylan Lucas. Dylan Lucas then... Dylan Lucas with the rushing, good kick there, and now it ends up with Connor Tracy. Connor Tracy to Jacob Carraz. Jacob Carraz then. Jacob Carraz. Jacob Carraz takes the hit. My God, this bit is never happening. Never happening. Never happening. Hey, not getting out of the tackle. That's got to be a dog's penalty. It is. It is. A Bulldog's. Penalty legends. I think it's Brody Jones would not leave the ruck, and now they will be left to pay. Jaden Bradley's furious because he was keeping his arm on there. He doesn't think that that was the Knights' fault. Now here come the dogs. Matt Burton. Here we go, legends. It teaches if you don't mind me asking, why do you go for a Queensland Queensland origin if you go for New South Wales team in the NRL? It doesn't make much sense. Well, legend, um, you'd be surprised to know that there's actually a good 
large amount of Queensland supporters that go for New South Wales teams legend. I was raised by a sick. I was just raised by my mother, who was a who um, t- who cheered for Queensland and par- and her. She also supported Parramatta. That's how I ended up. And I got to choose who I supported in the NRL. I ended up with Parramatta because that's who my mother supported. And then with Queensland, it's because well, well, I ended up with Parramatta because I decided that they just connected to me hard. But Queensland, it was because I was born there. I was born into that kind of caring for them legends. Remember, I am Victorian. I support Queensland because that's the one where I feel closer to it in my family. I support Para because that's also close to my family. And up oh, here we go, legends. The Canterbury Bankstown Bulldogs with the rush through. Wonderful stuff. They get themselves. A try. Come on, baby. There you go. Wonderful stuff there before, man. Watch it again, legends. Reed Marty with the low kick. It was beautiful here. Caleb Pogger, he should have just hit it out of play, honestly. And then... It was a grounding from Mr. Bailey Hayward, guys. And Bailey Hayward now gets himself a try. 22 to 6. The dogs are barking here at a course stadium. Wonderful stuff, legends. But you know, man, even even if you even if you don't understand that, I don't know. I don't know. Madge might do a good job for the Blues this year. Surely he he can't be as bad of a coach as Fittler. Surely, man. Surely, bro. But you know what? I hope he is because, like, you'd be surprised, man. You'd be surprised, mate, how much I don't like New South Wales in general. I like Parramatta and I like, um, I like the NRL footy atmosphere. But you'd be surprised how much I don't like just going to New South Wales. You'd be really surprised, legend. <laughs> I hate doggies rookies. I hate the doggies rookies, says that other man. It's mate. Roman Reigns, the big dog, the royal dog. We should be calling him Hayward there. Wonderful stuff from him. Bailey Hayward, legends. The Bulldogs, 24. The uh, Knights, 6 here. And the doggies seem to have proven us all, well, us Newcastle um, tippers wrong. <laughs> uh, man, of course I go from a 7 out of 8 to this. Oh, a near perfect week, and then this is what I got. Brilliant. Brilliant. Just wonderful. <laughs> all right. Back over to the right. Josh Curran here. Josh Coe with the squeeze through. Reed Marty then back right. Connor Tracy. Connor Tracy, the fullback. Good engines going here. Connor Tracy back over. And Reed Marty then to Drew Hutchinson. Bailey Hayward. Stephen Crichton. Stephen Crichton then. Stephen Crichton squeezes to the 30 here. And they are over on the Knights defensive edge. The Knights looking to hit themselves back here. Reed Marty with a high ball kick here. Reminiscent of his Parramatta days. And now Cal Ponga collects. Cal Ponga then. Caleb Pogger held back. Now we got Lucas going to the left. Nari Tuala. Nari Tuala now held back. Second tackle here coming up for Knights. Jaden Braley short overs here, mate. They're just going down the middle doing such simple plays, mate. They've got to do better. They've got to do so much better if they want any more out of this game. That is just right mad. What on earth, legends? Not good enough. Not good enough so far here from Newcastle. They get themselves a penalty, but I have not been impressed with what I've seen from Knights Legends. I genuinely have not liked them this year in terms of how they've gone, but I understand that there's still, it's still a long season ahead, but I just, I have not enjoyed watching them. (laughs) I have not enjoyed watching them compared to like the teams they've faced. Phoenix Crossland finally trying something special. 
Cross it almost through Jaden Bradley short and oh Adam Elliott knocks the ball on here. And then Bronson Jerry. Bronson Jerry here. And then Bronson now tackled down. Then we got Connor Tracy going over to the right wing. Josh Adokar, the Fox. The Fox then. Good rush. Knock on, says Aussie Blue. Craig is in knock on. <laughs> Mate, so many knock ons, man. The moment they try to do something, they just knock the dang ball on. They knock the dang ball on. Now Stephen Crichton. And Jason, we got Gamble trying to put out something here. Tyson Gamble taking the gamble. The referee taking a gamble, telling him to hurry the heck up. And here come the dogs. Back over Max King now. Max King, the incredible Hulk. What a wicked end to the line that was. The Knights holding him off, though, just about. Managing to keep it good. We're all fine here, folks, at the stadium. Bulldogs now. Bulldogs jumping up and down. Reed Marty. Kicks, chases, go. Knights. Oh, come on, man. Oh, that almost went off him out of play. He almost mucks that up completely. Greg Marjorie was not feeling or looking his best right now from the looks of it. But that's also from a pure on-screen look. Maybe he's just having one of those days. Just not his greatest time ever, guys, as a player. I feel like I've seen such incredible games from Greg Marjorie. And, you know, Knights fans told me a lot. They were like, you know... Oh, yeah, we don't have Dom Young anymore, but we got Greg Margie. Dom Young's, Dom Young's a loss, but, you know, Greg Margie's great. We don't need him, blah, 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 blah. It's like, come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. The dog, like, he, he's, he was a big player for you. You've lost a big player, Legends. You've lost a big, 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 big player with Mr. Dista Dom Young. Jaden Braley. Over goes Heverington. Harrington looking to rush through. He is king of the doggies. He is no, he's no minimal king. He is Max King. He is, no, one sec. Max King, the king of the doggies. He is no minimum king. He is Max King. Ding crown for his king. His kingliness, man. Crossland went for the offload here, Legends. And unfortunately, a knock on. Oh my goodness, mate. That was. That was just a mess. This game, man, there's so much of a mess. Uh, for a 2 p.m. game, this was just. Uh, he's still got 24 minutes and a half to go, but gosh, golly me, do I wish this, uh, this was the 4 o'clock game and not the 2 p.m. game. <laughs> All right. Braley to Hastings. Goes to Greg Marju again. Greg Marju now. Marju gets past the halfway line here. Jaden Braley then goes back over with Saifidi. Saifidi, wonderful smash there. Wonderful smash, Saifidi. The ultimate smasher is Saifidi. Hastings then. Justin Hastings. Hastening himself up. Back over. Terrible. Terrible pass. Stephen Crichton allowed to run with it. The free beat winner. Goes, 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 goes. Then over to 45, where Jamin Salmon then to Reed Marty. That was a questionable pass that the ref did stop. Spot Billy, I make a cow to Bronson Jerry. Bronson Jerry, then Bronson Jerry, uh, Bronson Jerry, then Bronson Jerry kept down. Back over to Billy, I make a cow, then Matt Burton. Matt Burton, dummies. Matt Burton now looking through the line. Matt Burton caught on the leg by Kai Pierce Paul, the Englishman. And then Reed Marty to the right, halfway through the set. Only they are Max King. Max King manages to run about 10 metres here. Now they're about 10, 15 away from the line. Then we're going to take the play. Reed Marty over to the left. Drew Hutchinson. Drew Hutchinson gets it over. Back to Matt Burton. Matt Burton there. And Connor Tracy slammed there. Pass it to himself. Good move, mate. Wonderful move indeed. Legend. Reed Marty then to Josh Curran. Josh Curran then with the squeeze through. Josh Curran could go over. Curran! Josh Curran! Legends. Did he get there or did he not? Apparently not. Reed Marty now second tackle. Reed Marty! And no, oh, Reed Marty also just short. Madness ensues. The doggies can't quite get there. Max King then trying to go through. It looks like they're just trying to go directly down through the middle, try and go through them. Back to the right. Drew Hutchinson. Then Drewy Hutchinson will pay packed into the ground. Back by Jackson Ace. Jackson Ace with a deep little hit there from the knee. Stephen Kreider now low kick. And oh my goodness, it's managed to be collected there by the 
Newcastle Knights. Dylan Lucas there, ladies and gentlemen. Back over, then they go. Held back Greg Marzu. Greg Marzu then. That was who else was again. Reverse one. Rubber one on one tackle. Put it in there. Uh, look, you have to pass it by yourself by front. Throwing it up so many tackles would be illegal. <laughs> you got to pass it to yourself, legend. You just got to go back, 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 back while trying to go through. Phoenix Crossland then. The times, eh, legends? The, the good old times, Aussie. Jackson Hastings then. Oh, charge down. And Leo Thompson collects. It's got to be play on, right? No. No. Is he going to say knock on? I am confused by that decision. All right. The Newcastle Knights legends, unfortunately for them. Okay, no way. We are going with a challenge. You know what? This is confusing enough that maybe a challenge is worth their way right here from the from the ball. Here we go, legends. He charges down and then hasty, and then it goes into hasty. Oh look, yeah, no, nah, Hastings knocks it on. Yeah, when it's charged down, Hastings knocks it on, bro. And so it doesn't really matter, does it? Exactly. Hastings knocks it on after Bruce. Uh, mate, Aussie did last stuff. I was asking your question. Alrighty. Captain's challenge. Will it be successful or not? I'll update you the moment it happens. We're just waiting on them here. And the call is unsuccessful. Yep, 40 knocked it on there. And there you go. There you go, baby. Wonderful stuff. Had to go fix my power, my oven trips, trips it. Oh, my God. I know, legend. I know the feeling. When I'm streaming sometimes between the TV and all that, that's why sometimes we have a power outage because um, I'm using quite a bit of power to do the streams and that, you know? But you know what? Well worth it, legend. Well worth it, indeed. I'm eating the dogs for dinner. You're eating the dogs for dinner, mate? Go, 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 brah. I don't have a channel, just an account like everyone else. He just has a chat. He just has an account like everyone else, bro. In order to comment and like stuff, he has to um, he has to have technically a channel set up, but he hasn't done that. He he's not actually got a channel where he's uploading videos and stuff. They love stuff. Plenty of people are like that on YouTube, bro. It's not just it's not it's a unique thing. Drew Hutchinson, Carota, Tracy, and the Fox. The Fox trots over. Let's drop, baby. The doggies make it 28 to 6. Unless the bunker has anything to say about it. The referee is saying go up to the bunker here. He wants to check this one. Brilliant run from the Fox. Does he touch the line at all? No, he doesn't. It's a try. It's a try. <laughs> Even the Fox is impressed with that grounding. Wonderful. That's a try. That is brilliant from the Fox himself. All oh, the dogs are living on a prep, mate. There you go, baby. And the doggies make it 28. To six. And they bow down. Well, oh, I'm such a fool. Ooh. How dare I? How dare I make the tips I made? How dare I make the tips I made, legends? How dare I? How dare you dare I? I said that because I was editing for someone to do it. Awesome. Oh. Also, I did that because I was eating for someone. I'm doing a test and stream I did with TJC. Oh, yeah, that. Oh, yeah, that one thing when you were doing the test to do with the stream earlier last year with me. That's right. I remember that, Legend. That's right. Okay, cool. Yeah, I was going to make that joke, but I don't want to get in trouble. I was like, Craig, I don't want to get in trouble. I was going to make that joke too, man. Josh Adekar, and now... 
They take the kick 30 points now to six. And I think we know the winner of this game with 20 minutes to go, Legends, already. Oh, my goodness me. Oh, no, it's not 630. It's not 630 like that says now what I'm editing it. It's uh, 30. 30 to six, baby. All right, the doggies trot along forward here. Oh, my God, Josh Curran goes out of play. Josh Curran goes out of play. Josh Curran went out of play from the kick. He's not happy. <laughs> he's not happy with the dog. He's, he's just, mate, he's going, bro, what were you guys doing? That is ridiculous. You're kidding me, man. The Canary Bates down Bulldogs with the error. And now it's a goal line dropout. Far kick. And Jacob Carras ends up with it. Corner of Tracy. Jamin Salmon. Back to Curran. Josh Curran. Curran's allowed to run. Josh Curran keeps going, guys. Josh Curran gets them over to about 45 metres away from Knights' line. He was caught by the neck there, so he's taking his time to get up here. Rough tackle on him. He's definitely probably feeling a little bit dazed. Jacob Carras there. Jacob Carras pushing ahead, strolling, looking to run the track. Marty then to ha Bailey Hayward. Hayward, guys, looking to go haywire against them here, legends. Looking to go haywire against them. Rush stuff. What, what's up, Dan? Love stuff, brah. What's up, man? Okay. And then Drew Hutchinson. Drew Hutchinson then caught down by Matt Croker. Marley then over to the right. Matt Burton to Tracy to Critter. Stephen Crichton Critter. Then to Samuel Hughes. Samuel Hughes slid his arms out. Samuel Hughes held down here, guys, before he could do much with it. Then back over, high kick in the air, in the air, and the ball's going to be allowed to go out of play, legends. The effort was there, but the execution, nah. Watch it again. Oh, my goodness. Salmon, it was off Salmon and out. Off Salmon and out, folks. That's all, folks. Jesus is what I see a Warriors Bear jersey in a piggy in a piggy Roblox. Oh wow, Dean Love stuff. Oh, isn't that crazy, man? Hello, say up the wires to him. <laughs> say up the wires to him, bruh. Up the wires to him, man. Up the wires to him. Up the wires to him. Alrighty, folks, a dokes. Alrighty, folks, a dokes. We go, 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 go. We go on forward here. We carry on the Doggies and the Newcastle Knights legends. How are we all feeling so far with this game? For me, I'm going, man, we just got one more stream to do and then I've streamed every game this round for the first time this season. You know, because obviously, generally, I'm also watching Para on one of these days, not having to stream every game because of that. But, um, yeah, this, this round, crazy stuff. I'm just glad that Para was the last one on their thing. And, oh, Jacob Carraz to go for a note held down here. Fourth tackle, Legends. Now one more left in the set here. I showed Sui said up the wires, up the wires, baby. Up the wires. Burton to kick out. Josh Adokar for a, a double. There ain't no way. There ain't no way. This way. The Fox trots for a double. Josh Aroka. You cannot stop him when he's on fire. How many tries is that in two games? Like five? Oh, no. Oh, no. His boots on the line. His boots on the line, legends. That won't be a try. That won't be a try. His boots on the line. Only the white line could stop him. No. Nah. Definitely not, Legends. Definitely not. He definitely touches the line. Definitely touches the line, folks. I don't really doubt that one for a second. They're going to go up yet. Yeah. This will be no try, unfortunately. As much as I love the idea of Fox continually to do these amazing groundings, that's not going to be it. That's going to be, that's going to be a no try. It's got to be. 
It's got to be. It just has to be legends. I'm, it's unfortunate, but it's just how it is. Just how it is. Okay. And Neutroy. Neutroy. Oh, no try. No try. No try. No try. No try. All right. Leo Thompson. Leo Thompson on his way through now. Leo Thompson held back. Back over we go best. And the best there. Bradman best caught before he could do anything with it. What, what happened to TJ? These are the goat boys out. Adam Elliott to Braley. Back Saifiti. Hastings. Dylan Lucas. Lucas with his arms out. Back over to Hastings again. Passes all around. Passes galore, bro. Passes galore, yeah. And then it goes to Crossland, and Crossland will clear it here. Legends. And it ends up with Connor Tracy. Connor Tracy then with the ball. Connor Tracy then going. Connor Tracy. Oh, come on, Tracy then held back here. Legends. Josh Adekar, the Fox. Foxy Fox gets the sprint speed. And the Foxy mind himself. He's a Foxy. He's Foxy, and we know it. Do 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 Jacob Carras. Back read Marty to Jamin Salmon himself. Mr. Jamin Salmon, bruh. Salmon and Salmon back. Hi, TJ. Hello, as always. Um, hello, as always, in our answer, yes, I guess, bro. Hello, as always. And that goes to the Fox, Josh Audi Car. Howdy, TJ. Hello. Howdy. Hi, bro. Howdy, hi. Howdy, hi. Bronson Jerry again. Burton. Hits this one high in the air, and it ends up with Tyson Gamble. Tyson Gamble there. Gamble in shambles with this right now. At 30-6, to they're going to feel relieved, mate, that the game's nearly over. 14 and a half minutes to go, man. Howdy, TJC. What will the game put your tips at, TJC? My tips, bro, let's see. Um, with this game, let's take a look. One, two, three, four. Four out of eight so far. So I've got a 50%, four out of seven technically so far. And it and if Sharks were to beat Cowboys, it'd be five out of eight. So I'm praying so that it's not a 50-50 week that I get the next one right too with Sharks. <laughs> High kick, and now Tyson Gamble manages to collect. He looks for the offload, and unfortunately, that was just one of the worst ones ever, bro. Four out of seven for me so far, because some of those upsets were just stupid. Some of those upsets were just stupid, man. Just stupid. Okay, with Jacob Carraz. Smashing tips this week, Aussie. You're you're a unique you're a unique fellow because most of the people that content creators that do tipping weeks are having very poor weeks. But in fact, before yesterday, I believe most people had zero tips correct. <laughs> like yeah, you're, you're having an unreal week, Aussie bloke. You're having an unreal week compared to most. Rotten Zeri then held back. Matt Burton then over to Tracy. Tracy again, short pass to Samuel Hughes. Hughes then, come on, man. Huge with the hugest plays, the hugest plays. Reed Marty, Hutcho again. Connor Tracy, come on, mate. The run's got to be there. Jacob Carraz, Jacob Carraz, back to Critter. And, oh, it goes out of play, man. Oh, it was, it was running mad. Tigers is my only bad tip so far, man. Well, mate. Then you then you really are a bad man. You just went for all the crazy results that most of them have happened this round. That's what happened, Ollie. <laughs> I tipped Waz and Eels, which didn't work out right, man. I tipped Waz and Eels as well, and that's what completely mucked up my week. That's what completely mucked up my tipping week, legend. Ticket Waz and Eels. Captain's Challenge coming up here, legends. Waiting on... Yeah, the ball travels forward. The ball travels forward anyways, like, honestly. 
I would just say no, nah, no nah, with that. I'd say no nah, with that challenge. But okay, challenge successful. They can't rule on forward though. Yeah, yeah. Challenge successful, yeah. I sit with my heart, not my head. <laughs> and for once, Aussie bloke, Craig, that's working out for you. I tip, I tip who I want to win usually, but who is not who's more likely to win, man. And yeah, and that's why you're doing better this week than majority of people. But, you know, most weeks they're doing better than you. So, like, this is just your week, bro. This is your week in the sunshine. Okay, Jackson Hastings now. Scrum. Jaden Braley gets Dylan Lucas. Dylan Lucas now. Dylan Lucas finds a way. Dylan Lucas back to the left. Well, we got Brody Jones in support. Brody Jones here, guys. Brody Jones manages to find his way through here. Brody Jones then held back, folks. Brody Jones stopped Legends. Brody Jones kept out, kept back. And then six again. Rock infringement coming up, folks. Get some energy going here because the game's going to be getting into being hyperdrive right now. Adam Elliott over to Jason Hastings. We got Kai Pierce Paul. We got Kai Pierce Paul there. Kai Pierce Paul looking there. Well, go, 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 go. Everything you were saying, TJ seems facts. <laughs> I always say facts, man. I try to at least. <laughs> This is just your week in the sunshine, man. Tyson Gamble, Dylan Lucas, they'll have another try to the sunshine, surely. Surely he went over. There ain't no way, right, that they managed to hold him out. The ref has no try. Did he actually get held out there, Lucas, bro? There ain't no way. There ain't no way that this bloke just got held. There ain't no way this bloke just got held out. My God. He got held up. He got held up, bruh. How on earth did they manage to do that? How on earth have the Newcastle Knights not scored here? Yeah, it didn't touch the ground, but how on earth have the dogs managed to hold him up like that? That is just... That should always be a guaranteed try, pretty much. Mad stuff there from him. Just, yeah, can't see the ball on the ground, can you, from any perspective. So, no try. No try, Legends. Okay. Yeah, Dylan Lucas could not get there in the end, guys. Unbelievable defense. As he rolled, it did. Maybe, I don't know. Look, it was tight as he rolled, but I think that no try is the correct decision on available evidence. Because, remember, available evidence is a big role in whether they give something to. They can't... Better put up the doubts less now. Hastings, low kick, and now it ends up with Connor Tracy. Connor Tracy then. Back over to the left, we have Jacob Carras. Jacob Carras now. Carras smashed. Second tackle here, Stephen Crichton, the critter. The critter Crichton. The critter Crichton then held back, guys. The critter Crichton held down by the critter Crichton, mate. You can't compare to him. You can't compare to the Critter Crichton, mate. The Critter Crichton is just too dang good. The Critter Crichton is just another level, man. He's just a double level compared to everything else in this thing. But compared to everything else in this thing, he's just another whole gosh darn dang level, man. All right. Oh, by the way, Legends... Blake Tath is officially onto the field, and Hutchinson is off, meaning that they're looking to put Tath at halfback, probably, from the sounds of it. Tath, halfback, legends. What do we think? Jaden Braley now. Braley through. Remember, guys, we've got us. We've got us. After Scaly Braley takes this hit, and we've got about ten minutes to go. We then have the next stream on the channel that won't be too long after, folks. Uh, so get ready for that one. Get keen, guys. Hopefully, we uh, obviously guessing no real stoppages in play. We will have a brilliant, most wonderful, most incredible, most spectacular 
second stream coming up in about 10 minutes. And Daniel Saifidi now flips onto his back, held back, step on a crack, break your back. Oh, step on a crack, score a try, it should be. Oh, God, no, it will not be. Marju, Pandari Tuala looks to get there, but Tuala couldn't put it on. What was that kick out? I don't know what that was, man. I don't know what this whole thing was. Tuala now completely messing himself up. Yay, bro. Bruh, says they love stuff. Bruh, mate. Good call, ref. Don't let that team score ever. Don't let them score ever, man. <laughs> They're not allowed to score, man. They're just not allowed to score. It's just not part in the book. It's not part of the records, okay? It's not allowed. It's against all that is holy. Read Marley then over to Jacob Kiraz. Jacob Kiraz then. Jacob Kiraz held back. Kiraz over, man. Kiraz goes. Jacob Kiraz then. Okay, and then we go over to um, Samuel Hughes. Samuel Hughes got the first try today that started off this great play this set of great plays here from them. I do actually like the Knights. Broncos has always been my number one, but Knights and Eels were always a second in three teams. I grew up watching Randy and Andrew Jones. How good I, how could I not like the Knights? How could you not appreciate them, man? How could you not appreciate this? Stephen Crichton, baby, goes over for the dogs. Wonderful. The Stephen Critter Crichton man himself. And the doggies find another way through, guys. Another way that you could not write, Legends. You just could not write it. Stephen Crichton, ladies and gents. Finally getting it. What a pass from Blake Taft backwards there. Obviously, you, could, you couldn't not like the Knights, man. Obviously, you couldn't not like the Knights. Could not like. Just because you supported New South Wales team, though, doesn't mean you can't. You can't, if you have the connection and were born into it, support Queensland. You know what I mean? It's just how it is, man. 34 to 6 now, Legends. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, bada bing, bada boom, baby. There you go. There you go. There you go, folks. That's all, folks. That's all, folks. That's all, folks. Folks, 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 folks. folks. That's all. Now, Matt Burton, from right in front here, he's got a lot on the line for this one. Can he get it? Can he get it, Legends? Matt Burton, 4.36. Yep, he's got it. It's a 30-point lead to the Canterbury-Bankstown Bulldogs. And the Newcastle Knights were never really in this game from the start to finish. It's always been dogs. Dogs, 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 non-stop. I love New South Wales teams. Knights does this. I just don't like... Knights, Eel, Storm are okay. I just don't like the New South Wales team. Mate, I don't like them either, bro. I get what you mean, man. There's some great New South Wales teams, but it's Queensland. Especially, I go for one of them, but Queensland, bro, it's superior, man. But why can't they beat Para? Why can't they beat Paris? It's adults and beards. They can't beat Para. They can't beat Para, bro. They just can't beat Para. They can't beat Para because we are better, bro. We are better. We are better. We are just better, mate. We haven't played the Knights yet, so hopefully this is a sign of what's to come. Um, you know, I'll be in Newey for Knights Para this year, so let's go. Adam Elliott. The Jelliot Elliott. Gets it. Oh, Tyson Gamble far over to Tuala. And that was way too long of a pass for Tuala to manage to collect. It would have been a miracle if Tuala got there. And now the doggies get the ball back with six minutes to go. Because sometimes the Eels have electricity, man. We just have the electricity to go forward with it. Go, go, man. Good on you, man. Dogs, dogs can't beat Para because we're better than Knights right now, in my opinion, man. Or at least, you know, we were. Um, it's it's an odd season, man. It's like how, you know, why couldn't Panthers beat Manly, but Dragons could beat Manly, bro. I don't think you can really make too many assumptions. 
No one bleeds blue, by the way. I can prove it to anyone who says so. <laughs> yeah. I'm with you, William Hunt. Nobody, bro. Nobody bleeds the blue. Plus, I don't know about you, Legends, but I've just never liked... I've, I've never been a... Uh, I like blue and gold, like the para blue and gold, but I've never been like that sky blue, blue kind of guy. I I'm just not big on that color myself. Just not big on it, man. So even if I were born in New South Wales and was blues, I, blue, in which case I would have been a blue supporter, I wouldn't have. Um, I wouldn't have loved the colors I was represented in. No, what? Let's go. If your team gets smashed, stay loyal, and they will bounce back the next week. Exactly, you stay loyal, man. You stay loyal. You don't jump off the. You don't jump off and go onto a wagon. If you go onto a wagon. You don't deserve to be celebrating the premiership. You don't deserve to be saying, oh, I love this team so much. You don't love that team so much. You love the fact that you can brag about being a winner when really you're not a winner or a loyal winner. You're not truly a a fan whose team won the premiership if you're just jumping wagon to wagon, man. It's just not on, bro. It's just not right. It's just stupid. All right, we got a captain's challenge here, legends. A captain's challenge, -roo, a challenge, -roo coming up. A coming up, a up, a up, a up, a up, a challenge. Hastings, and yeah, the collision there earlier, Kikau best. I can see that. There's a couple collisions actually. The dogs say challenge unsuc. Okay, challenge is unsuccessful, folks. It will not matter. Four and a half minutes to go. It tight, if, if Jaden Bradley will just tap the dang ball. Here, here, come on, man. Let's go. Let's go, man. Or are they going to take the two? They take the two? No, they're going to tap and go. I was going to say, bro. What are they going to do? Hurry the heck up. Hurry the heck up. we got another stream to do after this one, bro. we got another stream to do after this one, bud. Then short over. Gamble here. Tyson Gamble held back over. And then, so goes Jaden Braley. Short to Saifiti. Saifiti for the line. Saifiti held upper here, legends. The eels of electricity. We bounce back next week, Ozzy. We bounce next week at Brookie where I'll be. We're going for the first time. Oh, God. Yeah, that'll be interesting. And here we go. Bit of a, bit of a brush, bit of a tussle here. The knights and the dogs pushing shoves coming up. Come on, man, are they? Come, we'll be late for the next get. We'll be late for the next stream. Late for the next stream, man. Late for the next stream. If you if your team gets smashed, bros, watch it. You know what? But I don't want to see any dogs with me. Like I'm a Pampers fan now. Goodbye, dogs. <laughs> it's like good riddance. Good riddance. You don't love a team if you leave them. You don't love a team if you leave them. Hastings feeling his head here. Obviously, that's what it seems to have triggered the fight between these two here. Hastings having an issue. Aussie Black Craig, enjoy your food, man. Enjoy your food, brah. And Jamin Stabbard will be put on report for that, Legends. And here we go. Penalty for Knights again. Jamin Salmon on report. Now Jack Haverington into the line. Bulldogs managing to push him back to where exactly he started, man. Reed Marty needs to let go. So, oh, Reed Marty and Haverington. The little man, Reed Marty, picking a bone. Reed Marty, man. I knew it. I saw it a mile away when that tackle happened. Hey, Reed, brutal stuff. <laughs> Craig Margie being like, calm down, buddy. To read, buddy. Calm down, buddy. Calm down. You're not that guy, pal. So one grabs one's head and then one grabs the other's heads. Heads, bro. Oh, my God. That's just. That's just wow. TJC, help him fight. I got you, man. I got you. I got you, man. <laughs> fight, fight, fight. That's what you're going like, Legends. Alrighty, man. Now we got it. We're waiting on the referee's call here. 
All right, we got a penalty. We got a penalty, folks. Penalty coming up to the Knights. I'm going to guess, right? It's probably a penalty to the Newcastle Knights. Reed Marty's like, he started it, man. He started it. <laughs> Reed Marty ain't happy. He started it, man. He started it against Reedy Boy. Reedy Boy got picked on, man. He got picked on. He got picked on, bro. They're picking on our boy Reed. They're picking on our old boy Reed. Us, mate, but they're, they're picking on us. All right, now we carry on here. Uh, I see the kid. Afternoon, Legends. Oh, I see the kiddies are playing up again. They are, man. They are. They're playing up again, bro. They're playing up again, indeed. They're playing up again. Good afternoon, Mel. Welcome to the stream, as always. Um, obviously, you know, leave that like and all that. Good to have you here, as always. Three and a half minutes to go. Well, three minutes, technically. And then we're probably going to have to jump straight over to the next stream and how they're going with this one. But it looks like both players will go to the bin here. Both Knights and Reedy for the Dogs, guys. Reedy and the Newcastle Knights, guys. Both get 10 in the bin here, Legends. How you doing today, TJC? I'm doing fine. Honestly, I'll be straight up with you, Mel. This entire stream, my brain's been half switched off because it was just... I'm not a morning person, so 2 p.m. is actually like a 10 a.m. for me in terms of my uh, brain. So I was speeding nonsense, I swear, for like the first half and a bit. But, um, yeah, we'll be switched on for the seconds. We'll be switched on for the second game, Mary. Switched on for the second, but, yeah. Hope you got early for you lot, early for us, yeah. Early for us, this game. <laughs> Elliot to Hastings. Short over. Goes. Oh, Kai Pierce Paul almost through. And Kai Pierce Paul now loses it. Back to Kiraz. Jacob Kiraz now. Kiraz looking for the side to side step here. And then uh, caught by Jaden Braley. Tackle zero now. Both teams are a man down here. Who will react better with it? Matt Burton. Then can go to bed around 5 a.m. <laughs> I know. It is for us, Aussie. It is. It is, man. It is. It's early for us, man. What time is it? Well, the game started at 2 p.m. It's 3.53 now. The next game's due to start at 4.05. So won't be too long till we're on to the next stream, actually. It'll be like, it'll feel almost instant, honestly, how close it actually is, Legends. Like, I would just, like, I'll probably just quickly go to the toilet, get a drink, and then, uh, you know, set it up within like a minute, and then I'll be here. Yeah, it's 3.53 p.m. here too in New South Wales, Aussie, too, right now. Shark coming up, Sharks v Cowboys Legends. Obviously, Scott Drinkwater playing as a hundred. If I've heard some word, Hamlin Ueli might be playing as a hundred too. So, some big players coming up for their big milestones in the next match, guys. Yep, it's 353 both places. It's almost six here and already getting dark. Yeah, so it was probably easier for you, Mel, than it was for us. <laughs> Your time zone. Your time zone. Isn't that the funny part about time zones, Mel? Good stuff. What is Wilts? All good, lead, Dean Love stuff, mate. All good. All good. Good day, bro. All good, man. Okay, now go through. Lucas, help back. Now, Jaden Braley to Hastings. To Saifidi. Back to Crossley. Crossley looking to cross through. Said hi from the modern TJC channel here. Yeah, bro. Okay, got to go now. Charge my phone. All good SS Storm fan. Kai Pierce Paul. Bradman Best. Bradman Best. Bradman Best goes on through, Legends. And now the Newcastle Knights will get a try back at the very, 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 very least. 36 to 10, the scoreline at the end of this game. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Brilliant stuff. 36 to 10. And it won't be a 30-point win, at least, for the canterbury Bankstown Bulldogs. Ours is good, except for when you ha lot have 8 p.m. games, because it goes till midnight here. <laughs> oh, the 8 p.m. games. I can't imagine. Can't imagine going till midnight, bruh. Bad. Would be, would be interesting, wouldn't it? <laughs> Wouldn't be the best. 
would not be the best around. Jackson Hastings now for the kick. And he nails it. Wonderful stuff. 38 to 10, the scoreline legends. I'm a nice owl, mate. Yeah, nice owl, bro. I, I, I prefer being up at night for some reason. I'm a night person. But yeah, 36 to 12. There we have it, legends. And that should see us out as a scoreline to the end of all of this. Past your time, Lol. Past your end time, Mel. Past it. It wouldn't be great, says that also man. It wouldn't be great at all, would it? <laughs> Alrighty, folks. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen. Interesting to see that it doesn't seem like Serrano's doing much of the talking right now with the dogs. Doesn't seem like Serrano's doing much of the talking there. It seems like it's the guy that filled in briefly that's doing a lot of the talking. Greg Marju now. 20 seconds, guys, and then we're done with this stream. On to the next stream in 10 seconds. Legends. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Ding, 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 bada bing. That is full time here at a core stra stadium. Stadium Legends. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe on your way out. Head over to the next stream, Legends. After that, knock on. Yep, the game is over. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Congratulations to the, new, to the Canterbury Bankstown Bulldogs and a great win over the Newcastle Knights. Cheers, Legends.